Oh yeah. Oh yeah, now now I've decided. Oh now he decided that he was cool. Another action packed day of Gong's Fishing Adventures. Um, I was meant to go out in the ocean. I just saw the uh, forecast here on the, on the water police saying it's going to be strong wind warning. I knew that was going to happen. I'm in the river. There's a lot of birds just mucking around over here. I'll just quickly show you, which is a great sign. So, what I'm going to be doing is trolling around for probably Taylor, whatever's happening out here. Maybe flick for Flathead or Flounder. So, I am a river rock place today. Lovely day, hot day. Let's go get them. Careful, because those birds will go for this lure, and I don't want that to happen, so I might have to move. There's definitely some bait fish around here, but I don't want to catch any chicken for lunch. out of because I'm getting too close to the cop shop. So I'll just quickly show you what we're doing. We've got a sandbar here and you've got the channel. Okay, the tide's coming this way, the fish will be facing that way. So you've got to be casting out that way and try and bring it in. It worked for me. Now if you're in Perth, you know exactly where I am and I am very open in my uh, spots because it's not mine, it's everybody's. Just outside the Swan Yacht Club, Ekwarama. 
I mean, it can get a bit choppy, a lot of traffic, but I've done well here in the, in the past a couple of years. I want to try and do well a few more casts. Just wait for the bottom of the It's great because the wind is actually perfect. It's just tapping on the bottom. A few ups and downs. Very small, very small. Don't even need the net. Oh, it's just released flathead. Spoke too soon. Should have used the net. It was a small one. Good to see there is just life out here. It's been very quiet. Ah, oh, well, would have been good to show you guys. Bugger. I get cocky for old age. I'm still young, but anyway. <laughs> To get this batty, pretty happy, very happy, because it's very hot here. I'm just about to say, oh, I don't know, I'm up in an early day, but that there is a lovely specimen of a flathead. There you go, beautiful flathead. Uh, he is size, I'll quickly measure him up. I thought it was a flounder because he didn't fight that much, just, just a solid weight. Yeah, so this one's going 43, and um, I'm stoked. Oh, ah! What are we talking about? I've got sharp spines. You've got to be careful when you landed on the floor. He actually stung me on the on the foot. So a bit of pain, but a bit of meal fix it up. I'm happy days. So it just proves that the um, change of tide really had an effect. I was getting worried because the wind has pushed me downstream and the current pushed me upstream. I was actually staying still in one spot. So I just threw it out into the channel and um, he went for it. So, yeah, <laughs> don't give up. <laughs> Fishing's a tough game, but very re rewarding. It's a smile in the air once Anyway folks, that's um that's all for me. It's uh, 10 o'clock, very hot. I'm very happy I landed and, and, and kept the that nice flat head, it's 43 centimetres. Wasn't as big as the other one I caught the other day, but hey, it's still great on a day like today where there's not much that's happening. I had a great time. Um, it's all about having a good time, number one, safety, and number three, bring home some fish. <laughs> okay, you know what to do? Hit me head. If you want to subscribe, get up to my next show. We'll see you next time. Good view. Get out of here.